This dartboard has eight music genres on it. And this dart throw is gonna determine the genre of the song we have to write and record today. Rock. All right, so today's song is gonna be a rock song, but what's it gonna be about? We got love, death, aging, friendship, partying, rebellion, growing up, and anxiety. All great topics. Let's see what we get. Anxiety, a topic I think we can all relate to, but what should the tempo of the song be? 120 beats a minute. Classic. What about the key? A flat major. All right. So for this last throw, we put eight random elements on the board to up the stakes a bit. You got moment of silence, bass solo, halftime, no drums, key change, double time, slide whistle, and Spencer's choice. Double time. All right, so a part of the song has to be twice as fast as the rest of the song. The dartboard has spoken. Today we have to write and record a rock song at 120 beats a minute, an A flat major, about anxiety, with one part of the song being twice as fast as the rest of the song. Let's get to work. Okay, so since this is a rock song at 120 beats per minute, I'm gonna start by making a super simple drum loop uh, so I can get a feel for the tempo we're gonna be working with today. I like doubt it, I think that's cool. But what am I doubting? I guess in regards to my anxiety, I doubt that it'll ever go away. Is there a cure for a broken mind? I doubt it. I like going from E flat major to C7. I think it creates a sense of tension and is interesting. Now we are getting somewhere. That shut the world away. That just feels right, and that is something I do to combat anxiety, so. So I just close my eyes as I shut the world away. We still gotta get a part in here that's double speed, though. So since this is an A flat major, I think playing the relative minor, which is F minor, to start off the fast part will be a good way to change it up. All right, I got this. Let's go to the studio. So here we are in the studio and we're gonna kick this off with some drums. We got the East Bay kit all ready to go and we got the click set to 120 beats per minute, just like the dartboard demanded. Let's lay it down. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do it. I want these guitars to be dynamic. So, I'm gonna have it go from a clean arpeggio to some distorted chords right in the middle of the verse, and then we're gonna kick off the chorus with some staccato chords, just to give it a little bit of spice. Let's lay it down.
Now we're gonna add some bass to thicken it up. We got ourselves a nice bright tone. For rock music, I like a little bit more high end, so it cuts through the mix. Overall, this is sounding great, but I think layering in some acoustic guitar would give it a little bit more definition. Awesome. So we are good to go to finish this up with some vocals, but real quick, I just want to say that I'm glad the topic turned out to be anxiety because I think it's something we can all relate to. If there's one thing holding me back in my life, it's anxiety. I've missed out on many opportunities because I let fear get the best of me. Thankfully, as I've said before, music has always been my salvation and it gives me an outlet to express those fears in a positive way. If you struggle with anxiety, I want you to know that you're not alone and I'm right there with you. And with that, here's Shut the World Away.
What does a rubber band and a wine glass have in common? Well, I recently used both of them along with a bunch of non-musical objects to record a song and the result is completely wild. See how it turned out by watching this video here. And until next time, this has been Songs by Spencer, signing out.